And we're going to move on to something just as awesome. Yes, because we have a very special guest today in the UOC TV studio. So please give a warm welcome to filmmaker Benjo Southern. <laughs> Ben's joining us today to talk about his recent American documentary. And before we talk to him, let's have a look at him. That looked fantastic, Ben. Thank you very much. Um, can you just summarise, just at the beginning, what the film is actually about? The Three Files of Mile Men is a project that I've been working on for maybe about four years, and it's basically uh, following two guys whose dream was to run across the United States. Across the entire... Yeah, uh, right, right across from San Francisco to New York. They started on the beach one end and went to the other. So they straight across. Yes. But that can't be easy. There was only, like, particular <laughs> difficulties that everyone was... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they did about 40 miles a day. You know, that's, that's a lot, you know, they're, they're out, you know, for eight hours a day. It was difficult and it was difficult for us, the support crew as well. Mm. I mean, it, the only other people on it was myself kind of filming it, making the documentary and one of the runners' wives, you know, we were in a support car and that would involve us driving ahead and waiting, mm. you know, for an hour for them to catch up and that was the regime for three months in a row, you know, through middle America where there's very little. So it was, it was tough on everybody. Mm. Now, spending about three months with two runners, are you interested in running yourself? Not, <laughs> not to the degree those guys are. But um, I, yeah, I, I like keeping fit and I, like, and I do a lot of running daily to, for my own personal exercise. So I mm. suppose to that degree, what, what interests me on in this kind of thing is this, the kind of the personal will and drive to do something like this. Mm. And, you know, kind of human pushing themselves that hard. So if, and it's, a, it's also like an extreme sport in a way, you know, running that much for that amount of time. Um, so that's what interests me, the kind of the, the will and the spirit for them to want to you know, achieve their goals and mm. uh, fulfill their dreams. I think that's what really interests me about this as a, as a film. Mm. Uh, um, let's speak a bit more about the technical side of making the film. How long did it actually take to finish the film? Like, how long was the time period from very start, from first meeting till first meeting. finish the um, film? Well, in terms of the actual stuff that gets into the, the film, it was, you know, three, three months filming. Uh, yeah, as they did the trip across America, and then maybe about a month of filming in the lead up to them leaving. And then editing took about, I'd say probably about two months, which included everything, which included all the music composition, which included the editing of the entire film and all that kind of stuff. So it took me, I think I started uh, editing it in July and finished beginning of September, mm -hmm. I think. With so much effort that you put in the film, what are you planning to do with that? Are you planning to have like a commercial release or is it just staying on YouTube? My idea was to kind of put it to festivals, perhaps get it screened in a few places. Uh, locally, you know, for local interest, and I'm still having to do that in Cranny, which is where the main guy lives. But um, yeah, I mean, um, besides being on YouTube, I'm not sure what else I can do. I, I'll, I'll continue an ongoing search for festivals, but for the minute, it'll stay online, and hopefully, I can just generate enough interest that people will watch it online. And at the end of the day, what I want to get out of it for myself is just exposure of my kind of work. You know, mm -hmm. it's not kind of about kind of trying to release it as a film, but kind of people to see what I can do, and, and also promote the story, obviously, because it's a very interesting story and one that's been a part of my life for a long time. Well, you say you want exposure um, from this kind of thing. Have you got any other projects in the pipeline similar to this? I've tried directing for the first time at university in a kind of a sci-fi which I'm working on at the moment, which has gone very well. I'd like to continue making stuff, for sure. Um, I don't know what that'll be for the moment. I'm going to be uh, editing on a film uh, in university again. Mm. But a lot of my work at the moment is based in university as opposed to outside, but I definitely would like to continue to make things outside. Mm. 
I'm particularly quite interested in kind of um, extreme sports in that sense, mm. the documentary in particular. Right, Ben, thank you very much. That was really, really interesting indeed. And in case you want to see the whole documentary, we'll post the link in the description. Please check it out. It's a really, really good piece of filmmaking and a really good documentary as well. Before you leave, Ben, just one last question. What do you think about zombies? I like zombies, Finn, but I think dinosaurs are way cooler. Ooh, very good answer there. Very good answer indeed, Ben. The reason I'm asking...